Hello and welcome to the top 10 horror video games that aren't likely to appear in many other horror video game lists you see this year. Every year, I think everyone enjoys watching a good top 10 list, either hoping to have their opinions reinforced or to discover new gems of a genre. Hopefully this will do a lot of the latter as we explore the top 10 horror video games that aren't likely to appear in many other horror video game lists you see this year. Number 10. Oh, Mummy. Before you scoff at this game, let me tell you that it had a lot of the things people praise Resident Evil for today. Wonky controls that give the feeling of helplessness, atmospheric music, terrifying hordes of zombies moving at ridiculous speed. It also had bugs on some systems that caused glitches that made the game unplayable, so it would fit in nicely with today's AAA releases. Number 9. Plants vs Zombies Having almost gone the way of Angry Birds and turned into a cash-grab mobile puke-fest, it's easy to forget that the original Lane Lawn Defense Plants vs Zombies is actually an excellent game which requires some calm nerves in the face of overwhelming zombie forces. Constantly evolving scenarios and enemy types require you to develop a keen mind for strategic mass annihilation. Number 8. Sanitarium There was a rhythmic thudding as though part of some great machine. Bang. 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 Mostly mechanical, unnatural, and yet seemingly with a wet sounding organic component. Relentless and perfectly timed, I looked about me for the source of the sound and was appalled to see a man banging his head against a brick wall. With every stroke, blood spattered out from the centre of the blow. Again and again he struck, and I stood still, mesmerised. I tried to speak with the fellow to make sense of what I'm seeing, but there is nothing. I wear pyjamas like a patient in a hospital and my head is bandaged. Evidently I am not the only one who is sick. After meeting some other people and solving a puzzle or two... I'm enveloped by the wings of an angel, and my adventure begins. Can I ask you something? Can I ask your name? D-D-D-Don. I haven't heard you before. Who... who are you? I wish I knew. I, I can't remember my name. I was hoping you might know me. Stupid voice. Are you a sp sp spirit Number 7. I have no mouth and I must scream. Another PC adventure game that seeks to up the demented stakes. This one is based on a delightfully twisted short story by Harlan Ellison. I believe I will let the game do its own talking. Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. Friggin' rats swarming all over the food. Those damn rats would rip the flesh right off my hands if I tried to take the bread. My god, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. <laughs> Did you really think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? No, Gorister, I'm sending you back, back to the fire, so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Gorister. Number six, Pinball Dreams, The Nightmare Table. Oh, I just love pinball games when they're done well and they capture the feel and weight of the real thing to awkwardly crowbar in a reference to the crow I like the pretty lights 
There now, doesn't that feel more Halloween-y? If you like pinball games and have never played Pinball Dreams, solve that now. Number 5, Night Trap. Unlike the other games on this list, I've never actually played Night Trap, so I'm just going off the footage I've seen and articles I've read. It is, however, my number one would love to play, probably shouldn't play, nostalgia, retro, classic, need, want, white whale, 20 year wait, built up beyond all possible reason, guys in suits chasing girls around a house, FMV, want to play it in its original form, clouded judgement, missing game from my collection. Costume Quest. Playing as a trio of little kids on a mission to rescue a lost sibling whilst fighting goblins, collecting sweeties and transforming into superheroes, what's not to love? Whilst the gameplay might be simplistic, the feeling of roaming a Halloween themed neighbourhood with spooky fun around every corner is captured perfectly. A great gentle scare fest for kids and considerably older kids alike. Number 3, Death Goat. Moth Zombie and I already made a video about this game for the channel, so if you've seen that, you're already well ahead of things right here. Death Goat is a heavy metal themed twin stick shooter in which you blast away at swarms of twisted demons from the fiery hell pits. The metal is extreme, the gore is plentiful, and the gameplay is a blast. The unrepentant video game version of a grimy 70s slasher exploitation movie. Have fun! It's not just about making the dickheads on the internet laugh. The Binding of Isaac. You want creepy, disturbing imagery? You want gut-churning violence? You want little kids stabbing their deranged mom in the eyeball with a kitchen knife? We've got it all here in The Binding of Isaac, a veritable house of horrors. Blood spewing, mewling infant corpses are both friend and foe in this game as you cry tears of blood and violence at an increasingly nasty array of monster freaks. Roguelike and brutal, Binding of Isaac is an indie classic that still hasn't quite received the attention it truly deserves. A vile masterpiece. Isaac is all the way to 11. Number one, Terradrome. The game that doesn't exist. Well, it sort of hilariously exists in a bubble beyond all known rules of time, space, and copyright infringement, but Terradrome is a free game that does sort of exist out there somewhere that allows you to smash together some of your favorite movie monsters and pumpkin head. They slash, they poke, they hurt your feelings with unkind taunting. Plus, there's actually a pretty deep fighting game here that I'm not really getting the benefit of because I'm so terrible at 2D fighters. Nonetheless, you can't get more Halloween than Ash chainsawing Chucky in the face. Groovy. Well, we hope very much that you've enjoyed this top 10 horror video games that aren't likely to appear in many of the horror video game lists you see this year. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to click the like button somewhere about uh, you find this video. And please be kind enough to share it amongst your friends. But be quick, because Halloween will be over, and then, yeah, no one will care. So, have a brilliant day, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Yeah. <laughs>